Assalamu alaikum to one and all. Nice to have you back to Circuit Labs Physics and Chemistry Tutorials for high school students. Today's episode is focused on a problem that involves an inelastic collision between two rigid bodies in linear and rotational motions. So join me till the end of this video. Stick around, watch, and learn. The question is, a door 1.00 meter wide of mass 15 kilograms can rotate freely about a vertical axis through its hinges. A bullet with a mass of 1.0 times 10 grams and a speed of 4.0 times 10 to the second power meters per second strikes at the edge farthest away from the hinge of the door in the direction perpendicular to the plane of the door and embeds itself there. Question letter A. What is the angular speed of the door just after the bullet embeds itself? Letter B. What fraction of the initial kinetic energy of the bullet remains as kinetic energy after the collision? In the figure, we have the sketch of a swinging door as seen from above. The door has a mass of M1 equals 15 kilograms and a width of 1.00 meter. It is initially at rest, so uh, its linear speed V sub 1 equals 0. A fast moving bullet with a mass M2 equals 10 grams, or that is 0 0.010 kilogram, and with an initial linear velocity denoted by V sub 2 equal to 400 meters per second, is about to strike the edge of the door farthest from the hinge. And our target variables are letter A, the angular speed omega sub 1, 2 of the door just after the bullet has embedded on it. And letter B, the fraction of the initial kinetic energy of the bullet that remains as kinetic energy just after the collision. We know that in an inelastic collision such as this, the total kinetic energy of an isolated system is not conserved. That is, a large amount of uh, the kinetic energy goes into energy being converted into sound and thermal energy or heat. In this problem situation, we consider the door and the bullet as a one system. There is an external torque about the hinges, all right? The hinges being the uh, axis of rotation of the door. So the angular momentum about this axis is conserved. The figure shows our sketch. The initial angular momentum denoted by capital L is that of the bullet, all right? And this angular momentum capital L, uh, is equal to its linear momentum M2 times V sub 2 multiplied by R or the perpendicular distance between the hinges in the edge of the door where the bullet is embedded. And computing Okay, this initial angular momentum, capital L, we have uh, L 
equals 0 0.010 kilogram times 4.0 times 10 to the second power meter per second and times r which is 1.00 meter so if we do our math we get the value of the angular momentum all right capital l equals 4.0 kilogram meter squared per second The magnitude of the final angular momentum is that of a rigid body composed of the door and the embedded bullet. It is expressed as the product of the angular speed omega sub 1 to prime multiplied by um, the sum of the moments of inertia of the door and of the bullet. So, we first determine the uh, moment of inertia of the door, which is equal to the product of its mass, m1, and the value of r squared divided by 3. That is 15 kilograms times 1.00 meters, that's to be squared and divided by 3. So we get the moment of inertia of the door equals 5.0 kilogram meter squared. Similarly, we also compute the moment of inertia, the bullet, which is simply equal to its mass m2 times the square of r. Substituting, we have the, mom the moment of inertia of the bullet is equal to 0 0.010 kilogram times 1.00 meter squared. All right, so that's equal to 0 0.010 kilogram meter squared. That's the moment of inertia of the bullet about the uh, axis of rotation or the hinge of the door. Next, uh, we now find the angular speed omega sub 1, 2 prime, right? Which is based on this uh, formula for the law of conservation of angular momentum, all right? The initial angular momentum is that of the bullet which we said earlier is equal to the mass of the bullet times its initial velocity v sub 2. So that's actually the uh, initial linear momentum multiplied by r, all right? And that is to be equated to the uh, angular momentum of the system after the collision, which is just equal to the product of the moment of moments of inertia of the two bodies, the door and the bullet, multiplied by their common angular um, velocity omega sub 1 to prime. Right? So, isolating uh, omega sub 1 to prime. And substituting the values, we get omega sub 1 to prime equals 4.0 kilogram meters squared per second divided by the combined moment of inertia of the door and the bullet equal to 5.01 kilogram meters squared. Right? Uh, if you do math, once again, we get the value of the angular speed omega sub 1 to prime equals 0 0.80 radian per second in two significant figures. For question letter B, we calculate the initial kinetic energy of the bullet one half m2 
times v2 squared. That is, Ke equals 1 half times 0 0.010 kilogram multiplied by the square of 4.0 times 10 to the second power meters per second. Right? So, again, when we do our math, we get the initial kinetic energy of the bullet equal to 8.0 times 10 to the second power joules. And the kinetic energy of the door and the bullet just after the inelastic collision, all right, uh, can be computed using this formula. So the kinetic energy after the collision is denoted by Ke prime. That is equal to one half of the product of the moments of inertia of the two bodies, the door and the bullet, multiplied by their common angular speed omega sub 1 to squared. Right? Which, when we substitute, we have 1 half multiplied by the combined moments of inertia, 5.010 kilogram meter squared, and uh, the value of the uh, computed angular speed, right, omega sub 1, 2, 0 0.80 radian per second, but that should be squared, and simplifying, we get the value of Ke prime, or the kinetic energy of the system after the collision, equal to 1.6 joules, all right? So answering our uh, final question, that is uh, the ratio of the final kinetic energy Ke prime over the uh, initial kinetic energy Ke, we get 1.6 joules divided by 800 joules. So that's how we got 0 0.0020. All right, or that also uh, means the fraction of the initial kinetic energy of the bullet that remained as kinetic energy after the collision, and that is equal to 1 over 500. So that's it. We are done. Till the next episode, mabuhay, mashallah. Thank you very much for watching. Please follow me in my FB page and please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.